Let me ask you something strange. Have you ever stood at the shore, felt the cool breeze of the sea, and thought, there's gold in that water? Because there is. And I'm not talking about some myth or pirate legend. I'm talking about actual elemental gold. Dissolved invisibly in seawater. Trillions of dollars of it. The oceans, it turns out, contain about 20 million tons of gold. That's not a guess. It's based on seawater concentrations, averaging 10 parts per trillion. It's everywhere, in every drop you've ever tasted while swimming, every splash on the hull of a ship. But it's also completely out of reach, until now. The problem isn't the quantity, it's the concentration. Think about it. 10 parts per trillion is like 10 grains of salt dissolved in an Olympic-sized swimming pool. Traditional methods to get that gold, like chemical precipitation or electrolysis, are so expensive and energy-consuming, you'd spend more money mining it than the gold is worth. So, for over a century, the dream of mining gold from the sea has remained just that, a dream. But then came a peculiar microbe. A microbe that doesn't just survive in toxic, gold-rich environments. It thrives there. And it may be the key to unlocking the ocean's golden fortune. In a quiet university lab in Canada, scientists noticed something odd about a common soil bacterium called Delftia acidoverans. When exposed to gold chloride, a toxic compound found in natural environments, Delftia didn't die. Instead, it coated itself in tiny particles of real, metallic gold. The secret, a molecule the bacterium produces, called delftibactin. This peptide acts like a microscopic shield. When toxic gold ions, AUCL4, touch the cell, delftibactin binds to them, converts them into non-toxic, stable, elemental gold, AU0, and deposits them as nanoparticles right outside the cell. In other words, Delftia acidivorans is a tiny living gold refiner. Let's get real. The average concentration of gold in seawater is 10 parts per trillion, or 10 nanograms per liter. So, in 1 million liters of seawater, enough to fill half an Olympic pool, you can theoretically extract 10 milligrams of gold. That's worth around 0.70 US dollars. Not very exciting, right? But here's the trick. With concentration techniques and flow-through systems, you can increase the gold yield by recycling water through bacterial reactors. And with smart engineering, that number starts adding up. Say you run a 1 million litre per day bioreactor using engineered Delftia. After a full year, you could collect around 3.5 grams of gold worth about $250 USD, still small. But now imagine 1,000 reactors floating in a closed loop system, powered by solar panels, continuously feeding on seawater. That's over 3.5 kilograms of gold per year, worth nearly $250,000 USD, with zero excavation. Maintain temperature at 30 degrees, but how does it actually work? Here's the complete guide to extracting gold from seawater. Using Delftia acidivorans. Step 1. Grow the bacterium. Obtain a culture of Delftia acidivorans. ATCC 156668 is the standard strain. Grow it in LB broth or minimal media with glycerol or acetate. C. pH around 7. Grow under aerobic conditions. Delftia needs oxygen. You'll need a fermenter or bioreactor. For small batches, even a glass flask with an air pump can do. Step 2. Build the bioreactor. You'll want a packed bed, or biofilm-based bioreactor, meaning you grow the bacteria on surfaces, like beads, fibers, or membranes. This increases surface area and gold capture, stainless steel mesh, porous glass beads, or polymer scaffolds all work. Make sure it has. O aeration ports, OPH, and temperature control, O seawater inlet and outlet. Step 3. Pre-treat the seawater. Optional but boosts efficiency. Since gold is super diluted, 
you can concentrate the seawater before bioreactor entry. Options. Reverse osmosis to reduce volume and raise gold PM. Ion exchange, resins to selectively remove unwanted salts. Even a 10 times concentration means you get 100 NGL instead of 10 NGL. 10 times the yield. Step four, run the system. Pump seawater slowly through the reactor. Let the bacteria do their job. Gold ions bind to delftobactin. Form gold nanoparticles on cell walls. Cycle water multiple times through the system for better yield. Ideal residence time, one hour per cycle. Daily throughput, 1,000 liters. Try day for lab scale. Scalable to one million plus. L day with industrial setups. Step five, harvesting the gold. After several days or weeks, your support matrix will be coated with gold nanoparticles. Harvesting steps. One, collect the support media. Two, use mild acid digestion or thermal lysis around 500 degrees sake to remove organics and isolate gold. Three, gold particles can be melted or refined using aqua regia, a mix of nitric and hydrochloric acid to produce high purity gold. Yield per cycle for small scale. 1000 L give you around 0.08 chomi manas of gold. Monthly, $30,000 L give you around 0.3 min. Yearly, $360,000 L give you around 3.5 for mommy. With pre concentration up to 10 times more. Here's the future floating bacterial bioreactors anchored offshore, running 24 7 with seawater intake systems powered by solar panels or wave energy, you'd have minimal environmental impact, zero excavation or land use, no toxic chemicals, unless you refine with acids at the end, bioengineered Delftia strains that are five to 10 times more efficient. Right now, research is ongoing to enhance Delftibactin expression through genetic engineering and optimize reactor designs for continuous operation. Let's pause and think. Gold mining has a dark past. Cyanide spills, river contamination, toxic tailings, human exploitation. What if we could change that? Imagine jewelry labeled, harvested by bacteria from the sea. No land destruction, no mercury, no miners in danger, just science, microbes, and a gentle ocean current. The alchemists of old tried to turn lead into gold. They failed. But today, we've found a better way. We're not making gold out of nothing. We're revealing the invisible wealth already floating in our oceans and letting nature help us capture it. All thanks to a tiny, brilliant bacterium. So next time you touch the sea, remember, you're touching gold. And one day, someone might even wear it. Not because of machines, but because of life.